Hey guys, it's Sand in the Rain here. Today it's a new Blender tutorial, and I'm going to show you about three point lighting. So, you have a basic scene. Three point lighting is a combination of three lights that work together to provide a cool lighting scheme for mainly single objects. So, what I want to do first is delete the cube, add a plane, scale it up by 10, S10, and delete this lamp because we're not going to be using it at all. Change the graphic. We'll add a monkey for our test subject, as every competent Blender person does. Grab it up, rotate it on the x-axis, about that much, grab it down, the simple test scene. Maybe add a subsurf or something like that. Let's see. We'll leave it at that. Okay. So, we have our monkey. What we're going to do is we're going to set up our lighting scheme. So we'll need, you can do this with different kinds of lamps. The first one I'll show you involves a sun and two area lamps, or also lamps. So we'll start with the sun, grab it up, go it over here, rotate, about that. And we want to position it so it's not directly, directly on this line with the camera, but sort of off to the side, like maybe over here. Rotate it, and put it so it's shining directly on the monkey. Right. Now we'll add our second one, which is our side light. This is like your, the main light you want. This is kind of a, kind of like a contrast color that'll make the scene better. So, I'm gonna rotate it this way. And we want to make it bigger, but with area lights, you don't want to use the S key to scale up. You go to the light panel here, or object data, and change the size here. So I'm going to change it to about 6. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll grab it up, and rotate it down, like that. Rotate it on the z-axis, okay. And we'll add also another lamp in the back, which is kind of like our backlight. Not really a backlight, but... It fills in those dark spots that you want to make sure you don't get. So let's rotate you there. And... Right about there. Okay. So, now if you render this, you'll see that that's not pretty. It's because these two lights are really strong. So we'll change the energy down to 0 0.01. Ah, maybe point, point 0.1. Change the gamma down to 0.5. Gamma controls the contrast, and as you can see, the contrast value goes down. I'm just going to copy the values. Hit this to make it a unique copy of that. And it looks a little bit better, but there's still some problems with it. So, as you see, it's very boring. There's no real contrast or anything, but, as, but there's no dark spots like around there, and stuff like that. So now what we're going to do is actually make this play a little bit bigger. I'll fix that. Take the sun and add ray shadow. This will give it shadows. And with a three-point lighting scheme, you want this light the only one to cast shadows. Now, that's not really attainable in real life, but in 3D art, it's what you want. Now, here, there's the shadow of the monkey, which makes it a little bit more realistic. Now we're going to change colors. I want this to be sort of an outdoor scene. So we'll make this like a little bit of a yellow. Increase the energy to about mm, 1.5. I like, um, what's that number called? Uh, I like common numbers. So now we'll change this to about like a light blue maybe. This, I don't know, how about just a, maybe another yellow. And we'll turn the energy of this one up to about 0.4. And we'll see how that looks. Okay, yeah, now that's pretty bright. We'll turn this down to 1.2. Test it again. Nah. I think it's still this one. There we go. Now, we've got our three lights. The sunlight, which is over here which casts a light onto about this part of the monkey, yellow, 
this blue light, which makes a little bit of contrast around here, and the fill light in the back, which takes out those ugly shadows in the back. And this shadow right here, as you can see, is probably unreachable, but I think we're going to be able to take care of that with one of our other things. So we're going to try using some of the world settings I taught in the previous tutorial. 5, multiply, actually no, I keep on messing it up. That's point 0.2, that is point 0.5, sky color, direct lighting approximate, blend sky, white, zenith color, mmm, blue. Okay, so now that shadow's gone, and that's a pretty nice image. Yeah, that's my tutorial on three-point lighting. So just remember, this is the fill light. Or not really fill. No, I'm I'm smart. This is like your spotlight. It's the main light. This is the only one that casts shadows. This one is your contrast light, or your side light, that gives light on the opposite side that this does. So this will cover mainly this section. This will cover around here. And this light's the backlight, which illuminates any unwanted shadows. And thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe so you know when the next tutorials are coming up. This has been Insane in the Rain. Like, comment, favorite. Thanks for watching, and bye.